Hi guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this here look, which is like the vampy fallish look. So it is a deep dark berry color, which I kind of have swatched in my hand, um, with a simple dramatic, not really dramatic, but a simple winged liner. Um, crazy lashes that are my own so just really like mascara up lashes and a simple blush you want to know how to get this look up in her then just keep on watching that's all you gotta do alright guys so before we get started with this tutorial I've already put on my professional uh, primer all over my skin um, I am having a bit of a breakout like city on my skin it's like all over my freaking forehead right here as well as like on my cheeks I don't know what's going on I normally don't get breakouts this bad and they're like not leaving like no matter what I do it's like still there but anyways so I primed it and then I put some of my Garnier Skin Renew BB Cream in medium deep on just to give me some color because if not I will be really really um, washed out so before we get started with this look, I'm going to just prime my lips, so uh, not prime my lips, but um, moisturize my lips. So I'm using the EOS Lip Balm in Sweet Mint, uh, my favorite of the moment. I've been using it so much, I never thought I would use an EOS Lip Balm that much. You can like even tell, it's like dwindled down. This one is my ultimate, ultimate favorite, ultimate. This one, it is my ultimate favorite. Okay, so for a look like this, because the lips are so heavy and so dark, I don't want to go ultra crazy with my eyeliner. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use my uh, Sephora eyeliner cream. Oh, Sephora smoky cream liner. Sorry, I was reading it, I think, in French. Anyways, and it's just going to be a black, black cream liner. That's what it looks like. I've already used it. With my... A uh, brush that I got from IMATS last year, it is the Haku Holdo brush, and it's just like an eyeliner brush, so this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to kind of tie my hair up so that I don't, it's not getting, my bangs do this little like wispy thing, just so that I don't get it in my way. And I'm just going to use this pearl clip thing that my mom has that I kind of take from her. My bangs have grown so, look, they're like in my eye already. My hair goes so fast. And I'm just gonna do that. So now I look ultra crazy. Alright, so we're just gonna do a very thin um, wing for this look because we don't want it to be majorly dramatic because the lips are gonna be majorly dramatic. So we don't want that. We don't want it to be like drama, drama, drama. It's gonna look way too much. So just take your whatever eyeliner you prefer I prefer cream and gel liners I find it to be way easy to work with we're just gonna dab the brush in there a couple times sorry about my nails I'm like <laughs> in the middle of taking them off uh, my nail polish so let's just go ahead and draw a light wing I just with my middle finger of the other hand so my left hand I'm just kind of hold it taut so that way I can get a good line and I start kind of like one third into the eye because uh, I don't like to bring the line all the way to the far end of my eye because I find that if you end it kind of like middle or a little less like a little more than middle it actually makes your your eyes look wider apart um, which is what I want because they're kind of close together and with that wider apart look with the liner it just makes it look extra like catty and that's what I like but if you prefer to have your your eyes kind of you know uh, set together then bring the line into your uh, tear duct or into yeah your tear duct and now with for the line we're gonna take some more product we're just gonna wisp it out and it's just gonna be a thin line we don't want it to be a dramatic liner sorry I'm like not in the middle So we're just going to wisp it out and follow the shape of your eye. So you see that it's very thin, it's not crazy, but it's still wingish. So that's what we're going to do. 
And now I'm just gonna make sure that I clean this up. Kind of made it even thicker than I wanted it to. So just with a dry Q-tip, let's just go ahead and clean up the edges. And we're just gonna really make it thin. There you go, there you go. And if you feel like it's at a blunt edge and it doesn't look right, just go with the Q-tip again and just kind of smudge it in. Cause then it gives it a more natural look as you can see. All right, so let's do the other side. And I just like did that to my hand, my finger. This brush is really amazing. I'm sorry guys, I'm like on the floor on a pillow and it's still like uncomfortable. Okay, so let's go ahead. And again, we're gonna just like we did this side. Just making sure that it's gonna come out even, even ish. And I'm gonna take some more product, fill in some of the little gaps I have. So now it's not the same, obviously, but that's okay. We can work with that. Now, power of the Q-tip. I'm gonna take the Q-tip. And now you can start to see that it's taking the same shape. And there we go. So one eye, one eye. And then, I'm sorry if this video is like all choppy. I haven't made videos in a while and I'm just like crazy. Take your favorite mascara. So at the moment, I still love my L'Oreal. I'm always going to love that L'Oreal eyeliner. Uh, eyeliner. I'm always going to love that L'Oreal mascara. But I found this Dior, the water show. The water show. The Dior, um, Dior show, but blackout. This thing makes my lashes look amazing. So I'm just going to do one coat each so I don't really need a lot my lashes are already really long but take your favorite mascara I would take a black mascara just to intensify the eye so not a brown or a black because this look is about intensity but we don't want to have a crazy liner it's gonna be too much but if you have defined lashes that actually works well with the look And you can see it makes my lashes look like fake lashes, which is what I love. Okay, now the other side. So the eyes are pretty much done. That's it for the eyes. For the cheeks, because our lips are going to be really defined, I'm actually going to use a pretty light blush. And this one is the, from the new MAC collection, the Marilyn Monroe collection. This one is legendary. And this is what it looks like. It's just like a very nat, like nice neutral pinky color. And if I could swatch it for you, I will. But I doubt it's even gonna pick up on camera. I just swatched it like right over here. Whatever, it doesn't pick up. But I'm just using my Real Techniques blush brush with it. And the pink that you see on here is, it's the actual blush I used it yesterday. And I'm just gonna kind of swatch it around in there. And now I'm just gonna. Suck it in and bring it up. 
And I don't put it on the apples of my cheek, I just kind of put it in the middle. And we're just gonna pick it up. And have my bangs be all crazy like this. And now, other side. So you can't really see it that well. But it's not a crazy bright color, which is what we want with this look. So now comes the lips. So because I don't have anything that's really close to that color, uh, I'm actually going to be using a nudie liner. Because if it's nude, at least, you know, it still does its job. And this one is from NYX, and it's 858 Nude Pink. And this is what it looks like. It's just, like, very nude. So let's just go ahead and line your lips with this color with any of like the vampire colors You do want to have a lip liner so that it'll if you especially if you're gonna go out with it so that it won't bleed into the rest of your makeup and face So let's just go ahead now and line And I like to just kind of blend it in So that the lip the lip color can have something to adhere to. And then do the same on the top. All right. So now, it's easy if you have a lip brush to do precise application with this, but I don't have one, I lost mine. So I'm just going to take it straight from the tube and use my finger to kind of make sure that everything's in place. So. It's so gorgeous, this color, I love this color. And the good thing is, you build your intensity. So if you want it more sheer, you can definitely do a sheer color. And if you want it more crazy, like I want it, you can build up to that. I'm going to make it look absolutely perfect. Go in with your concealer just around the rims of your lips. And that will make it stand out even more and it will make it look way, like completely perfect. I'm just like obsessed with it having a really dark purple lip. When I saw that this look came back, actually, thanks. When I saw that this look came back, I was actually really excited because this, this look has been out for so long. It just depends on who picks up the look for like their fashion shows and all that good stuff. Alrighty, my dears, so this is your final vamp deep purple look. Very simple to do. I absolutely love it. I think it screams fall. And um, yeah, as you can see, it didn't take long. Sorry for all my breakouts. <laughs> so bad. But yeah, so that's the final look. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that this video was so choppy and that I'm choppy. <laughs> um, but leave me a message below if you like, if you hate, um, if you're going to try it. Oh, if you've tried it and if you've made a video, leave it uh, as a video response. I will definitely watch that. Uh, I'm going to leave all the um, things that I've used below so you can check it out below. Um, and what else? And I'll leave all my information down below as well. So thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe if you like what you see. So you can see me more when I do my videos. Um, comment. I always love a comment. Rate. Thumbs up. That's also good. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.